going to spend some time with the home health care industry, hospice specifically. Clark Lim owns Treasure Valley Hospice, and Honey Goodman is business development director. And we both thank you both for being with us today. And thank you. Tell us a little bit about Treasure Valley, uh, Clark. Well, uh, Treasure Valley, we're this year we'll reach our five-year mark. And uh, I just got to say, I appreciate having the opportunity to be on the show today with this particular topic, honoring mm -hmm. promises. Hospice is such a, a wonderful industry. Families, individuals, you know, when they're facing that end of life situation, uh, are generally you know, facing that for the very first time. And they are wanting to hear promises from a hospice company and from caregivers in any arena and honoring those promises is really critical. And that's exactly why we thought about bringing you folks on to talk through this because we thought about the dynamics when you talk about the customers. So, so when you hear that phrase, honor promises, what does it mean to Treasure Valley Hospice? I'll turn to you, honey. Um, well, what really that means to us is that there is no such thing as a casual comment. Anything mm -hmm. that comes out of the mouths of our employees is the same thing as a promise. So we've worked really hard on just empowering our employees to know that we're gonna back them up when they say something. So if they say something, we're gonna follow through on that. That could be anything from as simple as um, the time that we're gonna be at somebody's house to provide care to as complex as something as maybe somebody wants their loved one to come here from another state so that way they could say their goodbyes and we're going to use every tool in our arsenal to make sure that that actually happens for them. Now you use that term empower employees and Clark mm -hmm. I'll turn to you. Let's dive in deeper because this is one of those lessons learned for the companies out there who are watching this. How do you train and empower the employees? Tra train is an interesting word although I don't think that would really fit here. Mm -hmm. It's more of developing a culture Okay. Um, caring for a family and an individual at this you know, end of life situation uh, can, can bring situations that you know, promises are needed, sometimes really going the extra mile. When an employee has an idea about something they want to do that's or extraordinary, that extra mile, and they come back and tell us about it, if they kind of get shut down you've trained them not to do anything. Exactly. If they do that and they get praised for it, and even, even though those things may cost an extra time and money for the company, if they're praised for doing those extra things, you've created a culture of looking for the opportunity to do those extra things and honor those promises for those people. And culture is so what it's it, all about. It's definitely a cultural thing. We just have a few seconds. Do you have a specific story in mind about, about something, one of these times that it has happened for you? Mm -hmm. We had a difficult situation just um, recently where a um, patient was in their home. It was very important to them that they died in their home. And in this particular case, because of medical bills and different things that had happened to him, his house was in foreclosure. And one of the things that we were able to do, um, our employees said that they were going to do everything they could to make sure that this individual died in their home and she went to the extra step of calling the mortgage company we were able to get the house refinanced at no fees and this individual and their family member were able to spend the light you know the last days in their home which was not an easy that's, thing to do that's going above and beyond All absolutely right. Clark Lim, Honey Goodman, Treasure Valley Hospice thanks so much for sharing that Thank important information much. great lessons learned for our companies